Hey, good morning, sons and daughters of God, chapter 4, January 4th, that we are purified as Christ is pure. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself, even as he is pure. 1 John 3, verse 3. Christ would elevate and refine man's mind, purifying it from all dross, that he may appreciate the love that is without a parallel. Through repentance, faith, and good works, he may perfect a righteous character and claim through the merits of Christ the privileges of the sons of God. The principles of divine truth received and cherished in the heart will carry us to a height of moral excellence that we had not deemed it possible for us to reach. And every man that hath this hope in him purifieth himself even as he is pure. Holiness of heart and purity of life were the great subjects of the teachings of Christ. In his Sermon on the Mount, after specifying what must be done in order to be blessed and what must not be done, he says, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Perfection, holiness, nothing short of this would give them success in carrying out the principles he had given them. See, we're afraid of the word perfection. But I can do all things through Christ, through Christ. He had given them. Without this holiness, the human heart is selfish, sinful, and vicious. Holiness will lead its possessor to be fruitful and abound in all good works. He will never become weary in well-doing, neither look for promotion in this world, but he will look forward to be promoted by the majesty of heaven when he shall exalt his sanctified and holy ones to his throne. Holiness of heart will produce right actions. As God is pure in his sphere, so man is to be pure in his. And he will be pure if Christ is formed within the hope of glory, for he will imitate Christ's life and reflect his character. The princely dignity of the Christian character will shine forth as the sun and the beams of light from the face of Christ will be reflected upon those who have purified themselves, even as he is pure. Purity of heart will lead to purity of life. Have a great day today. You are a son and daughter of God.